And so they have been lobbying the government relentlessly over the last 10 years to try to get rid of the program. And the CPUC has unfortunately listened to the utilities. And so this is what they put on the table. But we're not done yet. We have 15 days before the CPUC makes their final decision. Will the state's Public Utilities Commission office kill the solar industry in California? That's the question that comes to mind for solar advocates after a recent proposal was announced that they say could kill rooftop and community solar. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco spoke with two environmental justice advocates who are calling on the governor Thursday. Myra, fill us in. What do they tell you? The proposal is focused on an en energy metering solar tariff and sub tariff. That's how much credit customers get back on their electricity bill. It's a credit the utility companies pay back if the customer generates excessive electricity on the grid from their home solar power system. But here why what's being proposed now could reduce that and what solar advocates have to say. The California Public Utilities Commission's office announced on November 11th it's revising a proposal on net energy metering tariff and sub-tariffs. The proposal says right now the California's electric grid is used by clean energy during the daytime, but electricity demands are at their peak in the late afternoon and into the night, leading to a greater reliance on greenhouse gas emitting resources like natural gas, coal or oil. In its proposal, it says if it passes, it will focus on the net energy metering tariff to improve price signals by better aligning them with electric grid's condition both day and night. The updated billing structure of the tariff is designed to optimize grid use by the tariff's customer and incentivize adoption of combined solar and storage systems. These changes will help meet California's climate goal and increase reliability while promoting affordability across all income levels. Today, I spoke with two solar power advocates who are holding a press conference Thursday to urge Governor Newsom and the CPUC to reject the proposal. They say it will hurt Californians and cut paybacks to customers. Um, a very deep cut, a 75% cut on average to the credit that solar users get for sharing their extra solar energy back to the grid. And that credit is called net energy metering. And it is the foundation of rooftop solar. It is why we've grown from almost no solar, only just solar for rich people, to now one and a half million solar rooftops where you can drive through a lot of working class neighborhoods in Fresno and see rooftop solar everywhere. So why do that? It's pretty clear to us that PG&E and other corporate utilities want to solidify the power over the people um, when it comes to our electricity needs. And the utilities hate net metering because they actually have to pay you for the extra energy that you're selling back to the grid. That's competition for them. And the utilities are a monopoly. They're like, no, we don't pay you. You pay us. He says there is evidence from Group Environment California that shows when other states implemented similar policy changes, it reduced net metering payments and caused a plummet to solar installations. More than half, Monty. Mara, I can't imagine anybody here in California wants to see that. Thank you. After the press conference, there'll be an in-person Save Solar rally in Fresno around 11 a.m. All the details will be up on our website for you at kmph.com.